Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Minecraft Day by Day. This is episode 11. In this episode, we're going to be going to the end. Because we lit the portal in the last episode. So, in this episode, we're going to defeat the Ender Dragon and go for some more gear. We're doing another commentary style video. Because those seem to perform better on YouTube. You may notice I have a little day counter at the bottom now. It's going to help us keep track of the days from now on. Uh, that way I don't have to set 20 minute timers on my phone to keep track of everything. Uh, so first I go ahead and make some chests here. Just to store some of this extra stuff in my inventory because I don't have great armor or great tools. So I figured it'd be a good idea to store all of the stuff that we're not going to need in this chest so that we can come back and get it after the end fight and we don't have to pick it up when we die. We do go ahead and make another stone pickaxe because I see that my iron one is about to break. I did not realize how close to breaking it was at this point. Uh, but we do start putting some of the stuff away. I want to keep the paper and gunpowder on me so when we go to the outer end islands, the we'll be able to make fireworks so that we can use the rockets to get around to other end ships easier. So I'm throwing stuff away. I'm trying to keep wood on me. Ender pearls, tools, and food. That's what I'm trying to keep on me. Uh, and that extra shield, just for when this one breaks. But we're heading in right now. We get a uh, kind of open spawn. The pickaxe breaks on the first block. Uh, but we get a semi-open spawn. Uh, we start mining into this wall so we can get some blocks to build up, but we notice that it digs out on the other side. So I just decide that we could just dig out here. We'll build up. And we're starting to, this is where we start to take out the end crystals. The end crystals in this fight were, uh, I had to finagle them quite a bit. Uh, because we don't have great gear because of that death a couple episodes ago. So I decided that we, I was just going to mine up the some end stone to get some blocks. With a stone pickaxe it's very slow. But then we're going to grab our water bucket and some of the food and we're going to try to pillar up and take out some of these end crystals. So there's the first one. We're going to dig through that iron bar and hop up to the top here. Right here is where I shoot at the uh, end crystal and I miss horribly. It's been a while since I've used a bow. I used to be really good at bow stuff like if you played me in bow pvp you had a very low chance of winning i've hit shots before that aren't even possible like there there have been times i think i once was playing with my sister and she was on the edge of my render distance and then walked out of it and i shot the bow and i managed to hit her out of render distance like i couldn't see her but i still hit her and my render distance was set to like 12 or 13 at the time because i had a pretty bad computer but still, like, 12 to 13 chunks away out of render distance. That's really far. So we're shooting at more of the crystals. I still suck at shooting. I can't hit a shot. I need to get better at it. Been a while since I've done bow stuff. Another example of the bow was, there was a ghast I found in the nether. This was on Bedrock Edition. I was on my phone, which makes it even more crazy, honestly. But I was in the nether, and I saw a ghast, and the ghast started to shoot a fireball at me. So I shot my bow and arrow at it, and the arrow went in through the fireball, which, you know, arrows, they, they deflect fireball. So it deflected the fireball back towards the ghast, and so the arrow that flew through the fireball killed the, killed the gas, and then another one spawned behind it, and the fireball that the arrow deflected killed the second gas. I really wish I had that recorded. I, I, I was on my phone, so that I didn't record it. But.
That was a sad water bucket clutch right there. I hit almost all of them in this episode. I was actually really good at them. And I've never been bad at them per se, but you know, I've never been good at them either. So it's kind of cool. This pearl, I did actually mess up this pearl. I couldn't get the block placement right and I barely survived it. Uh, but we did survive it. I try to conserve wood because I know there's no way to get wood once you're in the outer end islands and you always forget to bring wood with you and then you remember you need a crafting table and shulker boxes to uh, or a crafting table and chest to make shulker boxes and I always forget to do that so I tr I'm trying to conserve wood as much as I can like mining up the stuff that I place Right here was a pretty sick clutch, I'm not gonna lie. It was a really good one for me. We were on, we were dwindling on like, between three hearts and like, one heart the entire end fight. Right here I'm trying to get some more ender pearls from some of the endermen, so that I can pearl onto some of the towers. Uh, cause even though we don't have armor, I think when you pearl, it doesn't deal as much damage if you pearl onto the crystal, I think. But we've gone 2-0 for pearls here. Uh, we start killing this guy. I'm so glad I made this diamond axe, by the way. But we do go 3-0, and and I'm thinking this is really annoying. Because I want to get to actually killing the ender dragon, because Elytra is going to be really nice in future episodes. Especially once we get the mace. But there we get there we do get the pearl. The dragon's hitting us from behind. He almost launches us up onto the platform, but he doesn't. And then uh, an Enderman's mad at me. I don't know what I did here. I don't know if this that's maybe a strategy for killing Enderman, but like his AI couldn't figure out how to attack me. I don't know what happened there. But it was like the perfect forward movement. I guess that was a bad pearl I don't understand what the I don't, I don't understand how the AI broke so bad but my enderman drop rates here during the fight are absolutely awful So I just water up onto the tower, uh, place, in, place in the planks, uh, get the, this is the shortest tower, and honestly a really short tower. Usually they're not that short. Uh, I, do, I did forget to grab the wood here, which I really should have grabbed, because wood is so valuable in the end, since you can't get it. Which is something I hope they add whenever the end update comes out that everyone's been wanting. I hope they add like end wood, like end biomes. You know, similar to the better end mod. Because like the nether got a whole revamp with like all the different biomes and trees and wood. And like if you don't have wood in the nether, it's not that big a deal. Uh, right there, that was the last crystal. So we're heading down to go get to the dragon. Um, that was, I don't know what happened there because I did shield for the second one. So I expected knockback and like it to destroy the shield, but it didn't even register that the shield was up. So we're running back to get the stuff. This is why I put most of that stuff in the chest, just because it's easier to get all the stuff back and like pick it all up if you don't have as much of it on you. You got all the stuff. Resort the inventory. Put the broken shield back on. And we're ready to kill the end dragon. He does fly away here. But we run in. I break the torches, like the speedrunner strat, for some reason. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I'm not a speedrunner. I don't know how. I didn't have. I didn't even beds, but I don't know how to set up that speedrunner cycle thing. Also not sure how the dragon's breath didn't get me there. 
but I do use water to get the pearl out of the dragon's breath. I run back to the boat. We kill that one. Kill that one. We're doing pretty good on pearls. Uh, we've got three of them in our inventory right now, which is a very good amount. I'm waiting for the dragon to perch. And I see the perch turn right here, so we head into the fountain. I'm trying to not look up at him completely because there's mad endermen, and there is a chance that they'll walk into your line of sight. So once the dragon's down, I just go ahead and start hitting his head. Start dealing a really good amount of damage. He flies away. And so I let the Enderman run away and then we leave the fountain so that he comes back to the middle sooner. In the process I try to get some more Ender Pearls. Which it actually turns into a little bit of a farm here because of how the thing landed. But I'm dumb and I let the Enderman kill me. So I run back into the end to go get the stuff. Unfortunately, we did miss a dragon perch here because of that death. I think, if I remember right. Or maybe we didn't. I don't remember. I thought that was pretty cool. I like jumped on the boat and I avoided the dragon's breath. Yeah, we did. See, we did miss a dragon perch. So that was sad. Uh, but that dragon did kill a ton of endermen, so we have like five pearls now, which is way more than we're going to need. Uh, running back to the middle. So I go to the middle fountain. I'm not sure why. Uh, after I see the dragon, after I hear the ball get shot, like the dragon's breath, I, leave, I hop out of the fountain. Uh... This wasn't a perch turn, unfortunately. So I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for another perch turn. I don't know, what do you guys think about these commentaries? I know Rec Rap does a much better job at it than I do, but uh, I think these commentaries, they're, they're easier for recording in the sense that I can get a quiet environment easier that doesn't require my computer, but they're harder because it means I have I need like twice the amount of time to record footage because I have to record the video and then record the commentary over it. So I don't know. We'll see what you guys think. The algorithm is o pushing only episode six, which is my only commentary video. So I figured I'd probably try to make more commentary videos, just because. Like episode 6 just reached a thousand views today, but if you go look at episode 10, which is just a normal episode, it's at like 3 views. So, I don't know why YouTube is pushing the other one so much, but it is. Right here we get a really fast perch, like the dragon perches immediately. Uh, I did use a pearl, which caused us to take a little bit of damage, but it's okay. We get him pretty low. He flies away one last time. He left quite a few pearls on the ground. We're up to eight when we grab this one, which is a lot of ender pearls. Uh, we are out of food, unfortunately. So I run away from the fountain, waiting for him to perch again. Right there, we get the perch turn. So we start heading towards the portal. I decide to Ender Pearl, and Enderman would actually jumps in my way. Um, luckily, the Ender Dragon takes care of him for me. But uh, his head hitbox, I can't hit it for some reason, so I have to hit his body hitbox. But we do end up getting enough hits in to kill him right here. So we beat the Ender Dragon. Let's go. I only died like three times. <laughs> We're picking up all the XP. I don't know why I did this. I don't have any food and I'm on three hearts. 
or two and a half hearts, so I don't know why I picked up that XP. Uh, we grab the dragon egg. We got the dragon egg, so now we're going to head towards the end gateway to try to head to an end ship. So we have to grab up a little bit of end stone to build up to it first, so that's what we're doing now. So we're heading over there with 22 end stone. Uh, the portal is actually a lot farther off this ledge than it initially looked. So I go ahead and start bridging out there. I guess when it's higher like that at that angle you can't actually tell like how far away it is. I decided to just build up right here as far as we can. We get pretty close. I use up the iron bars just because they are extra blocks. Here I do end up using a little bit of wood. I didn't want to use wood but here's where I'm stupid and I forgot I'm on two and a half hearts and I throw the pearl and I die right over the void. I was not not my smartest moment, I won't lie. So I head back in. Uh, I run the wrong way because I didn't know that the uh, gateway was so close to my so close to the obsidian platform. So we do have to run all the way around the island. We do spot the end gateway, so we're running over to it just to see what stuff fell in the void and what stuff we got to keep. Uh, I do see the shield here, the full, the full shield. Uh, our diamond axe is down there along with the broken shield. So we get those two things. Uh, there's an XP orb down there. I run over here because there's a little staircase upward. Right about here, I decide to uh, run up to an enderman and hit him and then let him kill me. So that that brings me back to my bed and then I hop in the chest and I grab some building blocks because I didn't have my pickaxe and there was no way for me to build up to that uh, platform. So I ran in this time. This time I didn't for... I can't talk. This time I noticed that it was that close to my obsidian platform. So I decided that we would run straight there. I first stopped to grab the shield and the axe that we dropped when we died to the Enderman. Put the broken shield back on, and I pillar up with some netherrack. Unfortunately, this death did cost us quite a bit of stuff. Uh, we did get to keep the dragon egg, which I'm very thankful for. The dragon egg did not fall in the void, because there's no way to get that back. But everything else did fall in the void. So we did we did keep our water bucket though, which is absolutely huge for us. Because the water bucket is one of the most useful items ever. But I'm trying to get some Endermen here. The game won't let me place a boat next to him. Uh, I just need one Ender Pearl so that I can go through the portal. Because I don't want to waste wood on a trapdoor. So we get the one pearl that we need. This time instead of building up with blocks, we use our water because we have it this time. Pearl through. We spawn on one of these little islands. Uh, I do use a little bit of wood here to make a crafting table because since we have limited blocks and no pickaxe, uh, I go ahead and make slabs here, just to try to conserve some of our blocks. Pick up the crafting table. I use the odd blocks first, so like the one deep slate, the one cobblestone, the two netherrack. Uh, and then we go to the slabs. But I, w I, br I decide we're going to head this way, because this is the closest island. And it has coarse fruit on it, which is going to be our main food in the end because there's no way to get food for us in the overworld very easily 
and we ran out of food during the end fight. So I bridge over, water bucket down, and then we use our axe to grab some chorus fruit. And I was a little late to noticing that my day counter did change. But we do eat the chorus fruit to heal back up. Place down the boat, we put an enderman in it. We kill the enderman, he hits us once. He does not drop a pearl. That's another thing we lost when we died. All those pearls that we had. Right here is where I noticed that we are at the end of the episode. So real quickly, we go ahead and we kill this Enderman. We accidentally look at two more behind us, but they get in the boat, thankfully. So it's two more free kills. And both of them drop a pearl, I believe. Yes, so we're at three pearls now. We eat the chorus fruit, and that will do it for this episode. We got some more Ender Pearls, pretty close to an end ship, and beat the Ender Dragon. So I'll see you guys in the next one.